Welcome to another edition of Talking Models. Today we're going to review a brand new kit from Gilman Productions. One of my favorite characters, Pennywise the Clown. This one is a little bit of a twist on Pennywise. As you can see, they captured him in quite a different little look, which is pretty, pretty cool. Way to go, Mark Van Tyne. So we're just going to do a little bit of a review on it. I've got some photos that you've seen at the beginning of the video. And we're going to talk just a few moments on this kit. I just got back from Wonderfest Sunday or Monday morning. Whipped, tired, but I wanted to do this review because this is just a beautiful kit. And I wanted you to let you know that it's out there, it's available, and Paul's waiting to take your money. You're welcome, buddy. So... Let's pop them off. I love the way this kit <clears throat> is laid out. You see the claw that surrounds a skull, almost like a, like a crystal ball type look. Just a minimal covering on the ground, which is pretty cool too. Uh, of course, the skull and the claw. If you remember when he spidered out, he had that big claw. What I do like on this, and uh, all the kits from Gilman Productions, and also all the kits that they mold and cast for Shadow Creations is there's a lot of thought that goes into the molding process to minimize your mold lines and just to make it a clean casting. This one is no exception. They centered the hole on Pennywise to me perfectly. The balance is just amazing. It's not even pinned but the balance is just perfect. It's right in the kind of in the center of the piece it just feels good. This is a pretty heavy kit, but the balance is just perfect on it. I'll pin mine into the uh, into the base, into the claw, for added security when you have grandkids and curious guests. Accidents happen. So we'll pop them off, and like I said, the base is just uh, it's flawless. Honestly, guys. There is not a mold line to be found. Honestly, this can be primed and painted. Of course, after you wash it, but it, it, it's flawless. And an extra surprise for me, because I bought this at Wonderfest, check it out. Boom. Signed by Mark Van Tyne with the famous little boat that got Georgie in all that trouble. I know they don't do this all the time, but if you get one and you it's signed, just be happy. Feel blessed. Don't expect it, but accept it. That's my rule of thumb. So Mark Van Tyne, you get the boom for signing this one. Now on the Pennywise, we're going to check him out. You can see the bottom of it. There's your hole that I was speaking of. It uh, goes in there quite a bit, so easily you can pin this. Put a nice strong pin in, pin it through here, boom, put some uh, super glue on it or epoxy, whatever you use, it ain't coming off. But if you're just like traveling to take it to a contest, the pin would be nice or you can just pop it off and go because like I said, it balances quite nicely. So as I'm looking around on this one, any type of uh, mold lines, how do you do this, Paul? I mean, come on, man. Boom. Uh, guys, I'm telling you, there's nothing. Smooth as, smooth as silk. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful casting. You know, but that's what you expect from uh, Gilman Productions. And that's always my hope for Shadow Creations, the same thing. As a builder, as a painter, when you get a new kit, you want to just spray it prime it and get painting right a lot of us old school i'm not saying i'm old but the old school know remember the kits from the 90s the kits that you got and you thought oh my gosh what do i do with this so you stuck it in a box you put it away and thought mm, not now you had to actually do some work on it you had to mold you had to take and get rid of those lines you maybe had to use a dremel sand it smooth it 
and just keep going air bubbles little pockets you know what I'm talking about and it would drive you nuts what they have done to me is they just it stepped up this is just one of those that you can get paint and be put it on display and have an amazing piece in your collection now the face on this is very interesting you know, it's the Pennywise, of course, uh, Mr. Curry, but it's like a very somber look. It's almost like he's ready to bust out, but it's almost like he's human, which to me really captures it. Of course, you got the big nose, which you got to have that, right? Uh, the, the eyebrows, the makeup's on, of course, all the hair, the red nightmare. You've got the... Uh, truffles all around here and of course the one ball showing a little bit of the shirt below it so this is just this will be a dream to paint again you're just going to wash it prime it and start slinging the paint so this is one that you would definitely want to look at i also noticed that at wonderfest they had another new release the crate remember creep show i think i'll do a review of that because yes i bought one and they are just, uh, I can't wait to get into that one. We'll probably do that next episode. But before that, we may sneak in Mr. John Coffey, like the drink, from Killer Kits out of England. I'm almost done with it. Had a stop to go to Wonderfest. That's probably going to be the next edition on Talking Models. Then we might do a sneak in a review of the crate from Creepshow. But guys, do yourself a favor. Yeah. It's just, I'm, I'm telling you. And I always like how Paul does different colors. This is light green. This is your white. On some of my uh, Samara from the Wells that he cast it, there'll be blue, there'll be pink. Keep mixing it up. And it's just really, it's really interesting when you get them to see, I wonder what color I got. Well, I got a light green and I got a white. Or a light gray, actually. So like I said, look, you pop it on. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's easy to do. It'll be a beautiful kit to have in your collection. If you're a fan of the movie It, if you're a fan of Pennywise, this one. If you're a fan of the old one, like me, I love the new one. But if you're a fan of the old school, this is it. Check out Paul's other kits too. He has some other Pennywise. He has the new Pennywise the Clown from the new film. He has an old Pennywise the Clown. Then he has a honk and one the size of Texas. When uh, the new Pennywise's is just all creeped out and it'll freak your kids out to love it. And it's supposed to be fun, right? So check it out. I'm gonna put Paul's uh, info from his Facebook page. I'll put contact info for him. And do yourself a favor. It's a very affordable kit. As you can see, it's a nice size. It's heavy and it doesn't take up a lot of shelf space. You know what I mean. So that's our review today of Pennywise, the clown from Killman Productions. Brand new release, currently available. I don't know why you're sitting here watching me. You should be contacting Paul and ordering one today. So thanks again for top, stopping in and talking models today. I thank you for your support of this channel. I noticed I, pick up, I picked up a couple other new subscribers thank you guys for the guys that have been with me thank you for supporting this channel and just being a a part of this channel and, and seeing some new kits some reviews some painting tips we got it all mixed into a, one big jar we just shake it up so please subscribe if you haven't subscribed please share this channel with someone let's spread the word modeling is fun Wonderfest, I believe, at 824 entries this year, 2019. You don't think people are painting model kits? Go to Louisville, Kentucky next year to Wonderfest, and you'll see that that's not true. So I would definitely encourage you to go there. So once again, thanks for stopping in. And as always, may the Lord bless your day today.